Can you hear me? Yes. yes? Okay, great. I'm the Manjana and today through my slam we'll look at whether we can build better proteins. So we'll start off with a question. You know these red blood cells? They are present in our blood, right? What gives the red color to these red blood cells? Hemoglobin. Wow, that's a learned audience. So, yes, hemoglobin is a protein and it gives the color to red blood cells. But there is something which happens in some individuals uh, which is known as sickle cell anemia condition. So what hemoglobin does is it takes oxygen from the lungs to the tissues and it takes carbon dioxide from the tissues to the lungs. So uh, in the sickle cell anemia condition, hemoglobin is affected. And to understand how it's affected, let's know about proteins. So proteins are present in all cells in our body. They're present everywhere and they allow you to see me, they allow you to hear me, and they help in breathing, which is obviously essential for life. Apart from that, inside the cells, there are motor proteins which carry loads from one part of the cell to the other part. And you might hear about this later on today. Okay, so proteins are basically like beads on a string, like a building is made up of bricks, right? So proteins are also made up of units called amino acids. Now imagine amino acids are all same looking, like all of us, we are not the same, right? We are different, we are unique. So this, if all amino acids look the same, we would not have variation in nature and life would not have existed. So instead, in nature, there are about 20, there are, are 20 amino acids and each amino acid is different. Each amino acid has its own properties due to which they are obviously different. So now my next question to you is, do you think proteins exist as straight lines? No, yes, probably. Okay, so actually what happens is these proteins don't exist as straight lines and this is mainly because of the amino acids. And there are different interactions which occur between each amino acid in the protein and this gives rise to the beautiful three-dimensional structure as you can see in the case of hemoglobin. Okay, so since I've come back to hemoglobin, let's talk a little about hemoglobin. So I told you in the normal red blood cells, there are these normal hemoglobin protein sequences. But in the disease condition, out of the 500 amino acids present in hemoglobin, there is one single amino acid change. We call it mutation. So one single amino acid change causes the diseased hemoglobin protein sequence. And this is fatal for the person who has sickle cell anemia. So at this point, according to this slide, what do you think? Are changes in proteins bad? From this particular whatever I have told you in this scenario, do you think changes in proteins are bad? Yes. Yes, right. Okay, let's hold on to this question for some time. Now, uh, if you have, suppose, a correct gene, no, not this gene. It is gene, which is the genetic material, or DNA, who, what makes you, you, and me, me. So, suppose you have a person A having a correct gene and a person B having an incorrect gene. So, what happens is the correct gene produces the correct protein, but the incorrect gene produces the incorrect protein. The correct gene is responsible for proper hemoglobin. The incorrect gene is responsible for incorrect leaf form hemoglobin. So, uh, how can we solve this problem? We can solve this by changing the incorrect gene or correcting the incorrect gene. Now, researchers, um, uh, scientists Emmanuel Charpentier and Jennifer Dagna, what they have done is they have developed a method for genome editing. Also, what you can say is this method is for gene correction. So, this scissor that you see, it is basically a gene correcting protein and with this gene correcting protein, you can cure a person of an incorrect gene. So here this protein is the hero. But Jennifer Doudna and group thought, why do we want a hero when we can have a superhero? So from this analogy, that you have old cars, right? 
but these cars may not be as efficient and fast as newer cars. So we do have newer cars, right? They are faster, they are more efficient and they are better. So similarly, we have the original protein. So their group thought, why do we want to use the original protein when we can make a modified protein? So they used a particular process which is called circular permutation. So for this circular permutation, to explain it to you, I need five volunteers. So who wants to come on stage and have fun? Anybody raise hands? Oh, oh, let's, get, let's get our, yeah, 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 come on, it's your chance to perform again. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. One, two, three. Five yeah. volunteers. Five, okay, we've got five. Got Great. Five. Now we have our five volunteers on stage. And also, uh, as they come, I want to ask you this question. Can, can you find? find? Yes, no. Okay. So no, can no, you? Please stop. Please stop. You want to go? Okay. While she comes, so uh, the rest of you, look at. Uh, so you can stand over here for the screen. So can you find out the difference between the three protein structures that I have displayed here? Any difference, anything, which you find? Okay, I'll give you a hint. The balls that you see, these are the ends of the protein. Okay, so the balls are present at different locations, right? Do you agree with me? Yeah. Okay, so it means since I put these balls at the ends of the protein, it means the ends of the protein are different. Do you agree with me? Yeah. Okay. So I have produced, guys, stand in a line here, please. So, so the uh, balls are present at the different ends of the protein. Okay. So uh, you can come in the front. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so here are the five. So here are our five amino acids. No, now I'll ask them to stand in a linear manner and hold hands. Can you guys do that? Yes. Okay. So, like this, this is the protein uh, structure. So you can see this is the linear chain of protein. Uh, protein. So now, come now, can you guys form a circle? Okay. Just don't hold hands now. So similar to the previous thing, you can see the ends of the protein are here, right? One end is here and the other end is here. Now what I'll do is I'll tie the two ends of the protein together and I'll make a cut at another point in the protein. So what do you see? You see that the structure of the protein is the same. But if I ask my volunteers to stand in a linear sequence again, uh, as you, so don't break the bond. <laughs> don't break the bond. Okay. Great. So can you just stand in a linear sequence facing the audience? So you see that the structure was the same, the circular structure was the same, but now the arrangement has changed, right? Do you agree with me? Yes. yes. Great. Thank you so much. So I'll give you guys, uh, four, or four or five of you guys, some ribbons. You can uh, go to your seats and hold on to these ribbons. Okay. Okay. 
Thank you. So you have got a golden ribbon and some other colored ribbon which may be white or blue. So can you tell me which ribbon is stronger than the other and how can you determine? Why do you think so? Okay. Uh, can I do this? So which one is stronger? Golden one or the pink one? Pink. The golden one or the, the pink paper one. one or the pink one? Golden. Which is stronger? Golden, golden one, right. So, <laughs> thank you. So, you can see here that uh, which of these techniques have I used? Heat, chemical or force? Force, right. So, you can see that with force, I am able to say which ribbon is stronger. Similarly, by force, we can also say which protein is stronger. So we have seen that proteins are present in all spheres of life and they are essential in all spheres of life. However, in some cases, disease can be caused by proteins becoming victims. However, we can solve this by gene correcting proteins and we can make more modified proteins, mean better proteins by circular permutation. So coming back to my question, are changes in proteins always bad? No. Okay. And uh, do you think we can build better superhero proteins? Yes. Great. Thank you so much. Woo.